Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, should I take a breath test or should I refuse the breathalyzer? To blow or not to blow, that is the question. And that's also the title of one of Haber PA's earliest video FAQs, number 6, 311 ago to be exact. Unfortunately, I still cannot tell you what you should or should not do. What I can do, and all that I can do, is to arm you with information and then hope that you will make the right choice for you in the moment. Here's the scoop. You're likely damned if you do, and you're also likely damned if you don't. If you refuse to provide a breath sample, you face a boatload of negative consequences. But there's also a big plus. And the big plus is that in your case, there will not be tangible proof of an over-the-limit breath reading. On the other hand, if you comply, then one of three things is going to happen. Either A, you're going to blow over, in which case, a computer printout of your breath alcohol content will be generated. And if you go to trial, then your jury will have it in hand. Or B, you're going to blow under, in which case not only can you still be arrested, but the cops can then switch gears. They can effectively move the goalposts on you, and they can now ask you for a urine sample. Or C, you're going to have a low breath sample, which is going to be interpreted as a refusal. If you blow, you are always entitled to challenge the breath results in court. And if you refuse, then you can always offer an explanation for your refusal in court and to seek to rebut the state's imminent presumption of impairment and consciousness of guilt arguments. For instance, you might testify that you didn't trust the police or you didn't trust the machine or both. Or you could say that a lawyer once told you never to blow under any circumstances. In the end, the best choice is to not put yourself in a position where a cop would ever ask you to blow in the first place. Just don't drink and drive, and then you'll be fine. That said, I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.